Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. And today we are talking about the K-Beauty products you need to try if you are acne prone. Now, K-Beauty skincare definitely gets this like rep for being way too gentle to be effective for acne prone skin. And while K-Beauty definitely is gentle and focuses on the health of your skin, I don't believe that that makes it ineffective at all. I honestly think that adding some K-Beauty products into your anti-acne routine can really help Help you tackle acne in a more holistic way. So if you're so ready to find out the K-Beauty products I recommend for acne prone skin, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump in. First up, let's talk about soothing acne because this is really a foundational principle for building a skincare routine for acne prone skin. You definitely want to focus in on ingredients that bring anti-inflammation benefits to the skin that can help to reduce redness or bring antibacterial benefits to your skin. This is really the foundation of getting your skin balanced, calm, soothed so you can tackle those pimples. So one ingredient that's very popular in K-Beauty you need to know about is heart leaf extract. Also known Known as H cordata extract. That's how it'll appear on the ingredients list. And this is such an amazing extract if you have acne prone skin, because first and foremost, it's very gentle. It's not astringent and it's not going to strip any hydration from your skin. So it's suitable for all skin types from oily to combination to dry skin, but it is so good at soothing inflamed skin, reducing redness, the size and the swelling of the pimple. It's antibacterial. It promotes wound healing. Healing. So it's overall a really great extract to find in your skincare products when you're trying to help soothe acne. So one product that I like with heart leaf in it is the Manyo R Vegan Heart Leaf Sika Toner. This is so great because it's going to suit a variety of skin types just based on the texture. It's very light, watery, thin, quickly absorbed into the skin. And heart leaf is such a great extract for hydrating your skin because it has a high content of polysaccharides in it. And it's actually also an antioxidant. So it's got some skin protective and renewing qualities to it as well. So this is a great way to kick off your uh, anti-acne soothing skincare routine. Now in the same line from Manio, they do also have the R Vegan Heart Leaf 98 Sika Ampule. This features 98% of heart leaf. And of course we've got some Sika, some Centella in there too, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, a great ingredient to seek out in your skincare products for acne prone skin. But we've got a really high concentration of heart leaf. And again, we're getting all of those anti-inflammation, anti-redness capabilities, the antibacterial qualities, the ability to kind of help speed up the healing of the pimples in this really, really gentle formula. This is not going to irritate your skin or strip it of moisture. It's a really nice light gel texture. Again, something that is going to suit acne prone skin that's really dry or acne prone skin that's really oily. Not all acne prone skin is oily, right? But this has a really nice universal lightweight texture that I think is going to be suitable for most people and it's really going to help calm down your skin. Next let's talk about propolis. Now this is sometimes referred to as bee glue because it's a byproduct that bees create and it's often used to help seal up the beehive so it's the little bit of glue that holds the hive together and propolis has so many benefits for your skin. It's actually really loaded with what I like to call like skin nutrition, lots of vitamins, and minerals and amino acids and antioxidants for the skin. It's really fantastic just health-wise for your skin. But propolis has actually been used for centuries by multiple ancient cultures. It's not really just from Korea or Asian beauty. It's been used by the ancient Greeks, the ancient Egyptians for many, many years for its wound healing abilities. It has a really wonderful restorative property for the skin. So if you have pimples that pop and you need them to heal up, or you just have some damage to the skin that needs to be mended, even if you're prone to scars, propolis can be a very helpful ingredient to add into your skincare routine just for its wound repairing abilities alone. But it's also very antibacterial for the skin and it has anti-inflammation properties too. So all over, it's a very healing ingredient. Propolis can come in a variety of textures, but generally speaking, it does have a more medium weight type of texture. And while it's 
it's not really rich and overly emollient or greasy feeling it does often bring a bit of moisture and balance to the skin so it's often more suitable for those who have acne prone skin that's more on the combination to dry side so I want to talk about the by wish trend polyphenols in propolis 15% ampule because as I mentioned propolis usually comes in a more medium type of texture but this is one of the more lighter propolis serums that I've tried and quite honestly this is my favorite serum for fighting acne whenever I'm getting breakouts my skin's getting a little bit more congested I can see the redness and the inflammation and maybe some of the swelling start to happen I bust this one out <laughs> break glass in case of emergency and that's when I'm taking out this serum you know I've talked about it for many years it never fails me and I think it's just a really beautiful formulation that's using 15% of propolis combined with 59% of H cordata or heart leaf extract, which we've already talked about. So marrying these two together, these beautiful antibacterial, anti-inflammation soothing ingredients is really a recipe for success, at least for my skin it's been. And because they're really balancing out the propolis, which has that more medium type texture with the H cordata extract, which has a lighter texture, we have a lighter texture here. So it is still kind of on the medium side, but it's not quite as moisturizing or as thick as higher percentage propolis products is really nice absorbency into the skin it's not sticky or tacky at all but it's so good at soothing pimples every time I add it into my routine those pimples are on their way to healing I can see my skin starting to clear up even in just a few days it is such a wonderful serum and I'm always recommending it wish trend recently updated the packaging of this so what I'm showing you is the older version there is a newer label out there now so just a heads up the formulation the ingredients nothing inside has changed but the outside will look a little bit different if you decide to pick this one up another propolis serum with a little bit more moisture that I like for acne prone skin is the beauty of Josan glow serum this is propolis plus niacinamide now this has so many benefits for acne prone skin you know the first thing you want to do when you're breaking out is you want to reduce the inflammation on your skin we'll check we have propolis we've already covered that right when the um, pimple you know is really really swollen the one of the ways to really help shrink the size of the pimple quickly is by exfoliating the pore lining helping to release the clog within the pore that's creating you know that core of your pimple well um, check because this serum has betaine salicylate in it now this is a cousin of salicylic acid it is about two times gentler than salicylic acid but it still has the ability to dive deep into your pore exfoliate that pore lining release the clog or to help prevent clogs from forming in the first place. So when the pimple goes away, um, two things might happen. You might be left with a dark mark, right? Hyperpigmentation. And that's from the inflammation. I told you inflammation really damages the skin. And one of the ways that it does is it can create pigmentation on the skin. We'll check. We have niacinamide, a really reliable brightening ingredient. Something else that might occur is if that pimple pops, we've got an open wound, right? That you want to repair on your skin. Um, and of course we have the potential for scarring. We'll check. We have tamanu oil in here this is so good for skin regeneration it really helps to mend the skin help it heal up and it's great for uh, treating scars that are pre-existing but also helps with the formation of scars it really helps your skin to heal smoothly so um, it's also a great brightening ingredient too so we have everything that we could possibly need in one little simple serum now this texture it's more of a medium weight gel texture with moisture to it that propolis is playing full out here bringing that balancing moisture to this serum. It's never sticky, it's never greasy. You can feel a little bit of the Tamanu oil in here, but it's not gonna leave you shiny. But it's definitely gonna feel a little bit more medium weight on the skin, a little heftier than the By Wish Trend, and definitely uh, thicker than the Manyo Serum, um, offering some more balance, hydration, and moisture into the skin. Snail Secretion Filtrate is an incredibly popular ingredient in the K-Beauty world, and it can be beneficial for acne-prone skin too. Lots of benefits here. I mean, snail is a multi-purpose ingredient. It has great anti-inflammation properties. It does act as an antioxidant, and it's really well known for its wound healing abilities. There are some studies that suggest snail can help to stimulate collagen production. So that treats fine lines and wrinkles, and it also helps to treat scarring as well. So this is a great a holistic ingredient to add into your skincare routine. If you have more than one concern, if you're not just concerned about your acne, 
acne, but maybe you're well aging as well. Snail is definitely a great ingredient. If you've never tried it, I really suggest just going with um, the most popular <laughs> cult classic K-Beauty snail product out there. And that is the Cosrx 96 Snail Mucin Power Essence. I mean, this is so popular for a reason. It is beloved because this contains 96% of snail secretion filtrate. We've got some other humectant hydrating ingredients in here, but generally speaking, it's a very minimal formula. And this is so plumping. It is so hydrating on your skin. Like your skin will feel so bouncy and plump after using this. It feels so good. It has so many benefits for the skin. Like I said, it's just packed with skin nutrition. It's so good for skin health. And definitely, you know, your skin, if you are breaking out a lot, you need all of that nutrition and that plumping and that hydration to go back into your skin. This is a great way to get it. Now let's talk about some active ingredients and treatments that help you to exfoliate brighten and refine your skin. Now, betaine salicylate is an ingredient that we've already touched on. It is a cousin to salicylic acid. It does exfoliate the pore lining and helps to release clogs and prevent them. Um, and it's definitely gentler than salicylic acid. So the Cosrx BHA blackhead power liquid contains 4% of betaine salicylate. That's about two times gentler than salicylic acid. So roughly speaking, that's about equal to the benefits of 2% of salicylic acid. Acid. But because this is more gentle and because it is formulated with some hydrating humectant ingredients, your skin actually accepts betaine salicylate um, a lot easier. It's just so much more gentle. It's less irritating. It's less drying on the skin. Now, some people will write this product off as being too gentle or too weak right? Um, and they are really looking for heavy hitters with higher percentages. And I would actually counter that and say, this is complementary to higher percentage products. You know, especially if we're talking about like a uh, benzyl peroxide that is so drying on the skin and, and it can be very irritating for some people's skin. It may not be an ingredient that you can use every single day, but betaine salicylate might be. This can be something you use in between your higher percentage treatments. This is something that can help to support that. It's a supportive player. Don't write off products with lower percentages. Open up your mind to the fact that they might actually help to support your longer journey with your acne prone skin. And this is definitely one that can. Now, LHA is another gentler form of a BHA like salicylic acid. It goes deep into the pore to exfoliate. And this is a, an ingredient that is used a lot in K-Beauty products because because it is so gentle on the skin, but still effective. Now, one product I like is the Rovectin LHA Blemish Ampule. This is great because you can use this as a full face serum if you need a full face of exfoliation, but it's also really great for targeting um, just uh, individual pimples, like a spot treatment on the skin. Now, I will say there is some um, denatured alcohol in the formula. I generally uh, talk about products that don't contain um, drying forms of alcohol in it just because it's something that doesn't suit my sensitive skin. So um, everything else that I'm talking about doesn't contain it, but this particular product does. I'm not too bothered by it because there's a very small amount and it really just helps the LHA penetrate the skin a little bit deeper, AKA penetrate the pimple a little bit deeper, get to the core and help it exfoliate your skin a little bit more effectively. It definitely helps to reduce the size of the pimple. It can either help bring it to a head or just kind of help flatten it out and really help with that inflammation, but it doesn't dry that area out. It doesn't give you that peely, cracky, crumbly, you know what I'm talking about, skin? When you really like target a pimple and the skin just gets all like ugh, gross and then you like flakes off and just looks worse than when you had the pimple in the first place, right? This doesn't destroy your skin like that. It is actually very gentle. And despite the alcohol, it's not drying on the skin. So we definitely have to talk about PHA now because we've been talking a lot about BHA like products, products that go deep into your pore to exfoliate. Now P AHA is like an AHA. It's like a new generation AHA. It exfoliates on the top of your skin. And when you are acne prone, I do think that BHA has more bang for your buck because, you know, the issue is the clogs deep inside of your skin. But uh, AHA, don't write it off because it can actually still be really beneficial to help refine the top of your skin, to help with excessive dead skin cells that are hanging out, potentially getting trapped inside of your pores. But it can also refine texture and it can also be really 
great for helping to brighten any hyperpigmentation that you're getting post pimples. So I really like the Skin 1004 Toning Toner, <laughs> this name, it's so funny, but this actually combines PHA with Centella. Centella is so good for reducing inflammation on the skin, which is like that first line of defense with acne. But then the PHA goes in and helps to remove all the excessive dead skin cells on the top of the skin to refine the pores. And as you use this over time, you're definitely gonna see a brighter complexion, a smoother complexion, and potentially less clogs are happening on your skin because the dead skin cells are shedding away faster from the top uh, surface of your skin. What's great about PHA, again, a gentler alternative to AHA, it actually um, doesn't photosensitize your skin as much, meaning you're not as sensitive to the sun for using it like you would be if you're using glycolic acid. Now there's two other ingredients that I wanna talk about that don't exfoliate the skin, but actually do help with concerns that you might have with acne prone skin. The first is niacinamide at 10%. Um, niacinamide has a multitude of benefits. At 10%, it's really good at refining texture and enlarged pores on your skin. It will really help to smooth out your skin a lot. Plus we're getting the brightening benefit, barrier support, um, some well aging benefits with niacinamide as well. It's also an antioxidant, but at 10%, it's really good at smoothing out texture on the skin. I really like the TM Vita B3 Source Serum. This is so good because it's got 10% of niacinamide with 2% of Arbitin. Arbitin is so good at brightening the skin. It's really good at uh, targeting hyperpigmentation, the dark marks. So not only are you getting the texture targeted, but you're getting your dark marks that you might have as well. Um, and a really nice non-sticky texture that I think will work for a variety of skin types. The other ingredient I wanna talk about is Tamanu oil, which I covered before. It's so good for repairing the skin. It promotes wound healing and it really helps with scars. It can help to reduce the look of existing scars, even older, like scars that you've had for maybe even a year, Tamanu oil might actually help those scars, but it can also help to prevent scarring as well because it really helps with um, healthy collagen production on the skin. So one that I like is from Tuso Wong. It's a 100% Tamanu oil. Oil. Now, if your skin, maybe you're a little bit on the oilier side, you don't want to put oil all over your face, um, definitely you can use this as a spot treatment. So you can just rub it right onto areas that have scars. And it's also an effective treatment for hyperpigmentation. So you might just want to rub it like onto the pimple um, or onto any um, older dark marks that you have. If your skin is wanting a little bit more moisture, this is like a medium weight oil. Um, it's not really heavy. It's not super occlusive on the skin by any means. So it actually offers a nice amount of breathable moisture to the skin. So now let's talk about masks because whenever I need a quick skin pick me up, I'm always reaching for sheet masks or wash off masks to give me like a quick result on my skin. So when I am getting inflamed, like painful breakouts, I will reach for the Benton Goodbye Redness Centella Sheet Mask. Mm, this is so good. First of all, hydration levels, super high on this. I have really dehydrated skin and whenever I reach for a sheet mask, I want it to really replenish the hydration in my skin. This does not disappoint. It is so juicy. The essence of this mask is just really watery, really plumping on the skin. This contains so many different forms of Centella. The four active compounds of Centella, which is really where all the concentrated Centella benefits are, especially the soothing anti-irritation, anti-inflammation benefits of Centella, the wound healing ability, all concentrated in these four active compounds. We have all four of them here, plus we have Centella extract and Centella water. Like it's just jam packed full of Sika goodness. And whenever I use this mask, oh my gosh, especially when I have breakouts, immediately when I take it off, like it lives up to the name goodbye redness. It definitely reduces redness from inflammation on the face like very, very quickly. But always when I use this with an inflamed pimple, maybe not when I like first take off the mask, but if I do it, especially at nighttime, um, and then I wake up the next morning, always that pimple reduced in size. It really helps to calm them down so, so much. Now you may like a clay mask to help help clean out your pores, to help refine texture on your skin, to help with blackheads, excessive oil, and just kind of help um, to prevent maybe some of the clogs forming inside of your skin and potentially becoming inflamed pimples down the road. So Beauty of Jason actually recently released a new clay mask. This is their Red Bee 
Clean Refreshing Pore Mask. And this is so lovely. Um, it's very, very gentle on the skin and it really helps to suck out all like the gunk. <laughs> I really love to target clay masks around my nose because I get such enlarged um, pores and um, blackheads on my nose. And I know that's not specifically acne prone skin, but if you are prone to acne, I guarantee you're probably also dealing with a lot of blackheads and a lot of congestion on your skin. And that's where clay masks can really come in and help like clean and clarify that. So I love that this just really helps suck out all the gunk, really helps shrink the look of the pores. And let's talk about patches because if you are acne prone, I'm sure you're already using pimple patches, but like K-Beauty does pimple patches so, so well. And in fact, you know, the K-Beauty popularity craze, the K-Beauty wave that started in the mid like 2000 teens, they really introduced pimple patches into like the Western, the European, the American market. So we have K-Beauty to thank. But I wanted to mention a few that I really like because I find that even though pimple patches are mainstream and I can just go down to my local Target and buy them, uh, K-Beauty is so much more affordable. And if you're acne prone, if you have a lot of pimples, um, you know that those like pouches that are basically equaling out to like a dollar twenty each time you use a pimple. Uh pimple patch, it's a little painful, right? So I really love the uh, Cosrx uh, Master Pimple Patches. They're so, so affordable. They've got great adherence to the skin. They suck up a lot of juice. And I also really like the uh, Purito All Care Recovery Sika Aid Patch. These are excellent. I mean, I think they're great value for the quantity that you get, for the quality that you get. And there's actually more innovations in the acne patch world, believe it or not. It's not just about plain old hydrocolloid um, pimple patches anymore. Innisfree recently released their Retinal Sika Focusing Patches, and these are so cool because they contain the four active compounds of uh, Centella. They have retinal and salicylic acid focused into these little micro darts on these patches. Um, and these little micro darts actually um, help to penetrate into the skin. So you know how when you put a pimple patch on like a really big swollen pimple that maybe doesn't have a head on it, you can't see the white head or the, the pus underneath, and you know that the pimple patch is gonna do nothing because the liquid in the pus has to be really close to the surface in order to suck the juice out of the pimple and then deflate it, right? So this actually helps to get deeper into the core of the pimple with these little micro darts that have all of this targeted active ingredients in it. So those are my picks for acne prone skin from the K-Beauty world. Should I continue this as a series? I am wondering, like, are there other skin concerns that you want me to pick out a bunch of K-Beauty products to target? Like well aging, oily skin, really dry skin, dehydration, congestion, clogged pores, fine lines. I mean, hyperpigmentation, dull skin. There's so much, right? So let me know if you want me to continue it and what's the skin concern I should do next. Let me know in the comment box below. Now, if you love the video, you made it this far, which is rare on YouTube to get to the end of a video, right? And you haven't hit subscribe. I would really love it if you take a moment to hit subscribe before you take off. I release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one. I do full length videos and shorts. So maybe consider turning on notifications too. So you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I love you so much. I'm so glad you were here with me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.